morning, and welcome to the GHS Reporter. Today is Wednesday, April 25th, and I'm Andre Valverde. Yesterday, the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia ordered the deferred action for childhood arrivals to resume taking new applications. According to CNN, the DACA ruling does not take immediate effect, as the government has 90 days to either justify the end of the program or begin accepting new applicants. The Trump administration has been making attempts to discontinue the program since September, but their efforts have been stopped due to similar court cases that have allowed renewals of two-year permits issued by the program. The President's revised restriction on travel to the U.S. from certain Muslim countries goes to the Supreme Court today. According to NBC News, the court will decide whether the third version of the so-called travel ban is a legitimate effort to reduce the influx of visitors intending to do harm, or just a veiled attempt to ban Muslims from coming to the country. The Trump administration claims that this version is different, allowing the survey, following the survey of some 200 countries to find out what kind of background checks they run on visa applicants and their effectiveness at fighting terrorism in their own countries. We'll be back after these messages. I'm Devin. I'm Catherine. I'm Mary. And we participate in a student-led organization called Thirst Project every year. So our Thirst Week is April 30th to May 4th. Every day in the lunch, we will have a booth set up in the quad, and you'll be getting, if you donate, you'll get these prizes. We get to have a tote and then a water bottle. Um, we'll be doing penny words, so make sure to bring in all your pennies and coins and donate for the Thirst Project. And as a grand finale on Friday, we'll be having our annual pie throwing fundraiser, so you can pie your favorite teachers. And we really hope that you participate. Thank you. Ms. Clegg is looking for students to represent and promote clubs and organizations for the 8th grade visit, which will be on May 16th. If you're interested in participating in the club fair, contact Ms. Clegg. That's all for the GHS Reporter today. Remember to find today's announcements online and on Twitter at GHS Announcement. I'm Andre Valverde. Today is an A-Day. Have a great day.